why is no one swiping my profile have you ever been that person on dating site wondering why no one else is swiping your profile there are things that you need to do to maximize your chances of someone swiping your profile and in today's video that's what we'll be discussing stay right to the end because at the end of this video i have a bonus tip the first one is nail the first impression ensure that you nail the first impression but your first picture is your first impression and if someone is online on dating app just swiping if your profile picture the first picture they see is not interesting they won't even bother looking at the other awesome pictures so make sure that you're nailing the first impression there are some dating sites that will also allow you to write one line messages ensure that that one line messages the first message they see on top of your profile is a catchy vibrant positive message don't just write message that seems like you're nagging or you're being judgmental or you're being a bit sad write vibrant things that people would want to get to know ensure that your first picture is a close-up vibrant picture with natural lighting a selfie would do and also that will help you make the right first impression to people swiping online because there are millions of profiles to choose from so if you go on there show a blurry looking first picture and they just see it and they are not really you can have other amazing pictures but if that first picture is not eye-catchy it's not something that interests them they won't even bother swiping to your other amazing pictures so ensure that you're on top of the game when it comes to first impression your picture is top-notch and your first line the first line of sentence that shows on top of your profile is also top notch next marks are the photos on your profile some dating profile allow you to upload maximum of five pictures some allow you to upload ma maximum of three pictures some other ones allow you to upload maximum of 10 pictures ensure that if you have 10 pictures available for you on the dating profile dating site you're using max out all of those pictures and when you're posting pictures don't just post selfie 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 put pictures that tell story tell a story with your picture if you like fishing if you like swimming put a picture of you swimming but make sure it's a decent picture not <laughs> with a picture that is exposing things about you that you wouldn't want everyone out there to see if you like cooking take a picture of you cooking or something if you like going for walks cycling driving traveling take pictures of you in different outfits ensure that in your picture you, you can show that you can dress well in a formal attire and you can also show that you can dress in a casual attire so on your profile as you're uploading those pictures ensure that they tell different stories they tell stories about your hobby they tell stories about how you dress they start they show a, a selfie picture that show everything about your face and they also show people viewing your full body image so ensure that you have a full picture on there you have a short selfie picture on there you have a picture that you dress in a formal attire like dressing corporate like going to work you also have a picture that you can dress casual you have pictures of you doing different things because you never can tell the person on the other end of the dating profile might just be looking for your kind of person or for example the person you like traveling and person as well like traveling you might have a match from there because they will notice that you both like the same thing and that's one of the things that will start conversation with you with ensure that you're maxing out those space while i was still on dating site i see some people's profile or when i review people's dating profile i see that they have up to five or ten allowable pictures that they can upload and they're only uploading two or three or sometimes they upload two or three different pictures that are exactly the same i don't want to swipe on your profile and see you the same picture three or four times no it's annoying so please send pictures post pictures that show different things another things that is a no-no on a dating site is when you upload group picture no one wants the back and forth of swiping left and right to go and see which who's on the group picture that looks like you save people that stress upload personal pictures only your dating profile is about you and it should be about you only don't post pictures i understand you want people to get to meet your friends but that can be at a later stage of the conversation not right now when you're just getting to meet you don't even have the chance of sending the first message going out on the first date so why do we need to know your friends another thing that is a no-no on a dating site is you posting pictures you know let's say you were in a group picture with your best friends and you were being hugged by your friends and then you cut off you crop off that part and people can still see your friends and at your shoulder they can still see that you were in that picture with someone that's a no-no before you upload 
uh, before you upload such pictures if you are running out of options for pictures to upload you can always take fresh new pictures and it's always good to send your pictures to a close friend to review to see that oh this is the pictures i've uploaded on my dating profile because there is always that friend that will give you honest opinion if they think the pictures you're uploading is too revealing or it's not appropriate or it's not it doesn't really it's not eye catchy they can tell you next just write enough about you don't write your life history it's okay to write about you to write your name your first name where you are currently chatting from like your current location in the world but don't just go there and write your life history if you've had three children if you had a divorce if you're uh, no it's not necessary on online dating at least give the person room to get to know you also if you're writing too much about yourself the person can have the option of not even sending you messages because they feel like oh i don't want to deal with that for example you can say you're a mother you have one child that's not a necessary information on a dating site when you have the chance to match with the person and you start talking you go on the first date or you start chatting over other um private messaging apps you can then reveal to them that you have a child and remember some people are not very open-minded but if you write that on your profile that you have one child you're a single mother of one and the person always wanted someone that does not have a child you won't stand the chance of them messaging you remember this whole uh, video is about your profile standing out and having that opportunity of being contacted if at the stage where you go on private messaging and you tell the person that you have a child and the person doesn't like it then that's that's up to them to decide at that stage but you never can tell they might already like your personality and having a child won't be a problem for them a dating profile is a public space you don't really need all of us to know private information about you so know exactly what to write on dating site know the things to keep private also that will give the other person room to spark curiosity and then trying to get to know you whereas if you've put everything about you on the dating profile there's really no room for to spark curiosity and no room for people to get to know you and you're also giving them the opportunity to decide whether or not to message you but if you write just the necessary information they can have the opportunity if they like your profile they like your pictures they like the little they've heard about you they have the opportunity to message you and the conversations can start next on dating sites is for you to be upfront it's okay to be open to tell people this is the type of relationship i'm looking for if you're looking for something for, to have fun on online dating state it out there if you're looking for something more serious state it out there if, if you're not even sure of what you're looking for also state it out there you will always meet your kind your kind will, or someone that is looking for similar things at you would also uh, locate you if you say you're open-minded and you're open to anything and someone comes with the craziest idea that you're not open to then that means that's not likely going to be a match so why write that you're open-minded or you're open to anything when you are really not open to everything so be honest on your profile state exactly what you're looking for for example if you're looking for a serious relationship don't write it in a negative way frame it in a positive way you can say i'm looking to start a family i'm looking to have to settle down to start a family that's an example of stating it in a positive way don't sound as if you're desperate don't sound like you're a bit bitter or you don't want to give people a chance or you just we are too serious remember rome wasn't built in a day it takes time to take a gradual process for people to get to know you and people's pace are different people make decisions faster some people want to get to know you to be sure they are making the right decision remember the decision to get married is a lifetime decision to some people so people don't want to rush into it and rush out of it so still allow people be patient with people allow people time to make decisions but be very clear on what you're looking for on your dating profile when in doubt always swipe right on some data profile you can see some profiles that you're not very sure you're skeptical do i like him do i not like him when you you are on the fence about making a decision whether to send them a message or not to send them a message it's always better to send them a message because remember all of these tips you are sharing it's not everyone that knows all of these tips there are people that might be doing all of the wrong thing and you're not sure but those can also be amazing personality and if you don't swipe right or if you don't make the first move or the first impression when you are at that indecisive stage on their profile you might end up losing an amazing person so always ensure that when you are not sure of the profiles you are not very sure it's not like there's any major red flags on there but you're just not sure you look at their profile and you're saying do i like him do i not like him just reach out to him anyways or reach out to her anyways you never can tell that can be the special person you were looking for so always always be a bit open-minded on people's profile 
Remember, people can make mistakes in their profile. People can make mistakes in their what they write about their profile. Or people don't know when to draw the line. Some people might not know when to draw the line or what to write or what pictures not to upload on dating profile. So I'll, I'll give an example. Sometimes while I was still on dating sites, I see some people's profile where it seems like they were with a woman in a picture, in a close-up picture, and I can still see the woman's hair on their shirt, but they've cropped up that part. What will easily run into my mind at that stage is that does this person have a wife or a, is he in a relationship and still trying to reach out to people on online dating? I would easily, the first impression was, well, what is this one doing or not? I want to swipe left or, or not reach out to them. But sometimes if you reach out to those people, it can be that that picture was taken um, years ago when they were still in a relationship with that person, but right now they are no longer in a relationship with that person. It can be that that's a close friend or that's a sister or that's an auntie that they went to an event together and they take, took a picture together, but because they really like the way they are looking, that's why they couldn't help but crop out that person's um, face from the picture. So it might not really be that that person is currently in a romantic relationship. You can always still reach out to them and give them the room to explain. And when they explain, they can also send you that exact picture in full and you get the chance to meet the person they were talking about and they can tell you oh no that's my sister we went out to this we went out to a wedding together and we took this picture but i really like it that was why i cropped that out to put upload it on my profile so always give people that chance don't just say no 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 and swipe left or not reach out to them if you reach out to them you have the opportunity to get to know them and that would be that can you never can tell that can be a, a, the start of a beautiful relationship Let's have a friend look over your profile in detail remember in, in step one we mentioned that before you upload pictures send it to a close friend to look over your profile friends always give the sincere and honest opinion when it comes to things like this so your if you have a close friend send your profile to them you can take screenshots of your online dating profile and send it to them that includes what you write about you your description of you your description of your match the things you write about you including the pictures that you've already sent to them earlier in step one send them your profile to just have a look through your friend will look through your profile and give their honest opinion they can look through your profile and say oh why, why are you writing this on your profile or they can help you correct, correct spelling error on your profile they can help you say that oh you sound too judgmental or you sound too picky or you sound too this or that or you sound too desperate they can say oh no no don't write it like that you scare people away so that's an extra eye that you're giving the opportunity to review your profile to tell you yes go ahead or to tell you remove this or add this to your profile Give your profile, send screenshots of your profile to a close friend or a trusted family members that won't judge you and let them have a review of your profile and help you edit or correct things that they think you should add or things that they think you should remove. I also, I'll also add, I have an Instagram group of single ladies that are also online looking to find love. So if you're interested, if you're a single lady interested in joining that group, reach out to us on Instagram and I will be adding you to that group. It's managed by me anyway, so it's just women to women talk. <laughs> so please reach out to me. And if you've enjoyed this video so far, please subscribe because you will be giving you amazing tips like this that will help you find true love online on your dating journey. The next tip is try paid version. Some apps will allow you to send unlimited or restricted message or some app won't even allow you view people's profile or send them messages or reach out to them if you're using the free version so i understand that it can be expensive to use the uh, paid version but if you if you think you can afford it if the monthly payment is okay you can try the the paid version and that will give you more opportunity to reach out to a lot of people to view a lot of people's profile to send unlimited messages to matches and that can open doors for you to meet your potential match also on paid profile you can filter you can filter the people the countries you don't want some some of the dating profile you can actually travel to the country you want to meet someone in for example if you use those dating sites and you're looking to date outside of your race you can travel to europe you can travel to north america and it will link you to profiles local profiles in that continent you've traveled to and that will increase your chances of being seen by people in that area and also of you finding love online last but not the least don't put all your eggs in one basket <laughs> i know you you must have heard that several times don't sound judgmental on online dating try to be open-minded don't sound overly picky don't make it seem when people reach out to you that like they are in an interview you're sending them series of messages what do you want what do you do for a living what oh, that can be that can sound too overwhelming for some people enjoy the moment have fun in the process 
realize that it's not every person you get to chat with that will end in a lasting relationship so take it easy have a deep breath enjoy the moment as you go have fun as you go each relationship you get to meet on online dating even if it leads to marriage or it doesn't lead to marriage have something always have something to learn from some of these relationships can teach you how to be patient some of these relationships can teach you how to be polite some of them the things they've complained about that you're too you don't pick my calls often or you don't respond to messages or this you can take that as a learning ground and have that as things to improve on subsequently when you meet the next person thank you for watching bye